Hello drone pilots, my name's Paul Tace. Have you ever wanted to fly what I'm at but can't afford the suit? Well, luckily for you, we've got the next best thing. Uh, this is the Magic Mask VR goggles, and they can be used with any drone that uses a phone as a display screen. Uh, even better still, you don't need any third-party apps. So let's get started. Now, as a disclaimer, I have been sent these goggles for free to review. And um, if, if you've seen my channel before, you know I don't like to lie in reviews. Um, I'd much rather be honest and uh, be factual. Okay, guys, so um, I've come outside now. Um, I'll probably do an unboxing, so I'll play this over the top of the video. Um, this, these goggles did come in a really nice bag, and they've got some extra bits in there. Now, the thing with these goggles is they weren't designed for drone pilots. They were actually designed to be like an indoor cinema. So there's some bits in there that I'm not sure what they're for, such as some cards and a big squidgy dice. Don't ask. But these goggles are really good for drone pilots because each lens uh, will show the entire screen of the phone through them. And this is something I'm probably going to say a lot throughout the video, but this is a really big point. And this is because you're going to get full resolution and you don't need any third party apps like Litchi. You can just do this with your DJI Fly app or whatever drone you're using, whatever app that drone uses. Okay, now I've tried holding the camera up against the lens so you can see how good quality it is and it's actually really difficult to do. I'm going to go home, get another phone and see, uh, because it's obviously going to be a smaller camera, if I can fit it in closer and show you exactly how good this quality is. Now, as I was saying before, these are actually designed as a home cinema. So the one downside of these goggles is if you want to use them with the drone, the chances are you're going to need an adapter. Now, I've seen these adapters for between two to six pounds, depending on what adapter you want. And uh, these are really easy to get. I get mine from banggood.com. Uh, they're, they're good quality and they're cheap. Uh, the delivery is not too bad either. So I'll drop a link in the description down below. But I say once you've got these adapters, you can use these goggles on pretty much any drone. You've just got to make sure that you've got an OTG, which is on the go uh, cable, and uh, that you've got the right connection for your remote. Okay guys, so let's put this all together and start flying. I'm going to be putting my goggles on very soon. Just so you know, they do actually hook over your glasses as well. So um, that's pretty cool. I don't really actually need my glasses on when I'm flying, so I'll take them off. But it's good to know. First thing I'm going to need to do is take out the original cable. <laughs> Wiggle it out. There it is. And then we're going to put in the adapter. Now this is an OTG, which means on the go um, type C cable to a USB. I'm going to drop a link in the description down below so you know exactly uh, what it is and where you can get it from. And you just plug it in to the hole that the last cable came out of. You then need your phone charger. You plug your phone charger into the uh, female USB port. So it looks like this. So if your phone's in the case, you're going to need to take it out first. Uh, we can then just plug it straight in to the phone charger. Next, we get the magic goggles. Uh, we're going to undo the zip. And then inside, we've got these clips here. Okay, there's two clips here. And they're on a piece of elastic, so they're going to stretch out. So from there, we just put our phone inside. There we go, we can see it sitting nicely in there. And then we're just going to do the zip up. So we can do one zip to there. And bring the other zip up. And now we're all set up. Apart from I didn't turn the app on, so uh, <laughs> let's do that now. Okay, so I'm going to tap the uh, boats together and I've got a notification on the screen, that's annoying. Right, I've lifted the flaps up and now I'm in. There we go. But she's not near the uh, drone, is she? No. Okay, ready to go. Yes, I did. So at the moment, I've got the settings all for uh, photographic settings, which I don't actually like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in FPV mode. And what this does is when I tilt the drone side to side, the gimbal will tilt with it, so I can see how I'm moving when I'm flying. So this is going to be better for me. However, uh, if you're worried about getting decent footage, uh, this won't help. So you need to make that compromise. And actually, I quite like the zip for this because it's easy just to unfold, do all I need, and then put it all back together really quickly without having to keep sliding the phone in and out on a tray. So that's really good. Okay. Oh, there we go, that's better. So what I can see through the phone now is uh, like literally the whole screen. So I've spun around and I'm coming away from the tree. 
Uh, because I've changed FPV when I turn side to side, I'm going to get that tilt on the horizon. So if you don't want that, don't put it in FPV mode. But it does help you see where you're going. Now I can see a lot easier what's around me, which is really cool. Um, it's a lot clearer to see things on the screen. And I can't see any pixels or... Um, it looks really high quality. It looks like we've got it in HD mode. Yes, darling? You want to have a go? You can have a go. So what I'm going to try doing is going through a gap. And I can see I've got quite a clear view here. It does feel a bit scary though, actually. Quite near a tree. I'm going to be near a tree if I'm going through it. Like this. I'm going to spin around. But uh, looking at the quality of this, this is really good. I can really uh, feel what's going on. Okay. You want to go? So now we've got Mummy who's travel sick being flown <laughs> by a three-year-old. How does that feel? Like, feel like a bee. Feel like a bee. Yeah, zoom, zoom. Have you feel seasick yet? Yeah, I'll just turn it off. Oh, you're rocking back as a forward uh, there. <laughs> you can also use it to block out the sun if you're trying to film. Well, it's looking incredibly cool. Um, okay, guys, so that was my first time flying with these goggles on, and uh, it was pretty enjoyable. There was a few things that were a little bit stressful for me. The first one is um, after a certain amount of time, uh, the, the uh, screen on the phone would go dim, and then everything in shadow would be really hard to see. So, um, luckily, actually, with this, um, with these goggles, you can actually just uh, lift it up with a zip and then uh, tap the screen and continue. And if you do get any notifications pop up or anything, it is easy to access, which is really good. But um, before I fly again with this, I'm going to go through the phone settings and make sure the light doesn't turn off uh, for a good few minutes. But those problems are more to do with the phone than the goggles themselves. As I say, um, goggles I've had before, I've had a little tray that's come outside, you've got to fiddle around and then put it back in again. With these, uh, you can just literally uh, flap it up and it goes in the clips and then you can change it and then just flap it back down again and it's already in the right position uh, that it was before. So with these goggles, it is possible to move the phone in and out. And, um, this is going to help you um, see the full screen if it's a bigger phone, for example. But it does feel really nice at looking inside it. So we're looking at these and they're around £100, which is going to be a lot more than, um, I say, the Mavic Mini Hack. But for the Mavic Mini Hack, you need to go out, you need to get some cheap goggles, you need to get the Litchi app. When you're flying with Litchi, your drone's not insured and uh, the quality is just not as good. You can see all the little pixels on the screen when you look through the lenses. And then if we go out to the other extreme and we look at something like the uh, DJI digital goggles, uh, we're going to need to attach cameras to our drones. So we've got a separate feed going from the drone to the goggles. And also that's a £600 pair of goggles. And you've also got to get the camera as well, which can be £100 or more. So um, you're looking at around £700 for the next best thing. Now, um, you could also think about going analog, which is what a lot of FPV pilots have at the moment because um, the DJI ones are particularly expensive. Uh, but with analog, you get a lot of grain going backwards and forwards across the screen. And for me, that has put me off uh, FPV entirely. And even so, that's still going to be more expensive than buying these goggles. So these are going to be better quality than the uh, cheap stuff that I've shown in previous films. And uh, they're going to be almost as good quality as the really high end stuff that are going to cost seven times the price. So this is such a good compromise. And and uh, this is why I really wanted to bring these goggles to your attention. But uh, for me, there's, there's no real downside to these goggles and there's a lot of upsides. Any downsides you're gonna have with the goggles, such as uh, needing a spot and things, you're gonna have this anyway with any drone you fly with goggles. So if you are looking at getting goggles uh, for your Mini 2 or for any drone in fact that uses a phone, I highly recommend the uh, Magi Mask. Okay guys, so I'm gonna drop a link down below to the mask and the adapters you'll need. Um, if you are flying a Mavic Air 2, Air 2S or a Mini 2, um, you'll need one adapter, which is gonna be the C-type adapter, so they'll be linked down below. And if you're flying with the uh, Mavic Mini, uh, you'll need a micro USB one. Again, I'll link that down below and I'll put which drones they're for. Uh, let me know what you think. I think these are gonna do really well. They're, um, they're such a niche in the market, which, um, which you've got the best of everything you need. So um, I was really keen to get this video out quickly because I want to be the first to show this product. Okay guys, I'm also going to have a page about these goggles on my website, which is www.paul-taste.co.uk and uh, we're going to have loads of different stuff on there, but for these goggles, it's going to give you a lot of detail and everything you need to know about them. Okay guys, so if you found this video useful, hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator. If you want to learn about 3D printing and how that connects with drones, hit that subscribe button because that video is going to be coming out soon. That's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Daddy, have another go? Yeah.